Hey guys, Ellen here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Happy Easter long weekend. First day of four day long weekend for Easter here in Australia. And I had a massive sleep in this morning. Our whole family did. It was really lovely. Um, after now we are on school holidays. It um it was just it was needed, it was lovely. Even my husband surprised himself sleeping in till like I think it was ten o'clock, it was something crazy. So in the fashion of being quite relaxed, being a long weekend, if you want to do some card making, I thought I'd make something really, really simple. I want to do no colouring, just stamping using the ornate style um, stamp set. In particular, of course, this big stamp, which I am thoroughly in love with. Look, I love all the other stamps, but my fave, my absolute fave. I've got out my stamp artist to use with that. And the other stamp set I've got out is the Thanks for the Laughs stamp set. So this Thanks for the Laughs is in the mini catalog. Yay, Beryl, I'm glad you caught me live, um, is in the mini catalog. And I thought the sentiments go really well for the fact that I think almost all of us are in some form of forced or self-enforced um, isolation. These are really nice ways to reach out to our friends and just, I just want to make a card that you guys can make simply and send out a whole heap of people you love because we're all sort of hitting that crazy stage and yeah, I just wanted to help get you creative but not overwhelm you so I've got out two pieces of cardstock to hopefully make four cards that's my plan so if you are here for the first time welcome whether you're watching live or watching the replay and if you haven't already um I I will get back to that. Oh, Jenny, I know what you're doing. If you haven't already, please consider um, liking and following my page. You can, depends on whether you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, because I do pop my live videos on both. Um, YouTube, I'm trying to get to do live videos. I'm about a little over halfway. Um, I need so many followers and so many watch hours. Um to be able to uh, do live videos over there so i'm chipping away at it and i'm a bit over half so i really would appreciate if you subscribed um to my page at youtube just to let me engage people in different places so yeah what i'm going to do without further ado and much more waffling i'm going to flip us around we can all chat catch up uh while i go through making these hopefully fingers crossed simple cards so and i will get my second screen up turn off light so we don't have shadows and i will address you all and say hi so um, I know it's not quite Easter in the US yet for my US peeps. Ow, I just stabbed myself with my reverse scissors moving something. That hurt. Okay, let's flick this back around so we're not reversed. And let's see what you can see now I'm wearing super duper comfy clothes today some nice new clothes from my friend Daniil some nice crinkle cut crinkle material cotton oh it's delicious it's so comfy and warm I do have my heater on here because of course in Australia for every long weekend it rains and mother nature is living up to her reputation I mean, no one, no one should be going away at the moment, but it's always if you plan to go away for the Easter long weekend, it rains. Always, always, always. I know. I was moving my um, spinning 
spinning carousel here and was just popping out. I was pushing it back a bit to get on the right angle. It hurt because they're very sharp. I like that they're very sharp. Okay, now I'd also like while I sit down and turn off my heater because I'm now nice and toasty in here. Um, tell me how clear I am. I think I'm clear, but I just want to say hi. So, hey, Roz. Hey, Donna, Beryl, Martine, Sonia, Joanne. We are all well, thank you, Joanne. Um, Cindy, Jenny, I hope everything's going okay with the house. Jenny, you will have to tell us how everything is going, Janet, Laurie, Kathleen, Kathleen, maybe go out and come back in, if someone can tell, because I'm assuming everyone can hear me, because I got told to be more careful, hey Myrtle, hey Chris, hey Patricia, hey May, um, who else have I got here, and looks good to you, it's clear, fantastic, Good, so these are two stamp sets I've got um, out. Now, I predominantly want to keep it really simple with memento in, but in the effort of keeping it simple, I was thinking of adding a metallic, like embossing, but that's not keeping it simple. I might add, I don't know, some glimmer, some foil, something like that, but I want a colour. I want you to tell me what colour to use. So while I'm doing all the black and white stamping and cutting and all of that, I want some colour choices because you guys know my go-to colours. You really do know my go-to colours and I go to them all the time. So I would like to hear, hello Sensei Pauline, how are you? Thank you for joining me on this Friday. Oh, nice, May. Hello, Arnie Di. Thank you for joining. We are going really simple today, and I'm just cutting up some cardstock, and I'm asking for some colour suggestions. So I want to keep it black and white with a pop of colour. So some colour suggestions and for those of you who don't know Stampin' Up! Colours, just give me a colour. Just so I've got something to work with. Hey Shelly, thanks for joining. Okay, so I've just scored these cards or these pieces of paper and I will now... Cut them in half. Ooh. I know. My wheelchair's amazing. Highland Heather, that's a go-to, Jenny. Go-to. Hey, Margaret. Haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. Is anyone doing anything? I can't say because Easter isn't Easter this year. So a lot of people can't go to church and can't, well, can't go to, to their church and do all the things they normally do. I know majority of churches are doing things virtually, which is great. But I'd love to hear what plans you have. I know my mum and I, we're still doing our nice sun, Easter Sunday lunch. She is cooking the meat. Why am I struggling with this when I have a stamparatus here? She is doing the meat. I am doing the vegetables. And at my front door, we shall swap. So we're still doing our normal lunch, but we will eat it in our own, own homes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Barbara. Hello, Miss Leonie Newman. Miss your gorgeous face. And I cannot believe a year ago I was in New Zealand for on stage. The memories came up in my feed and yeah, what a whole different world we are in from a year ago. 
just folding these, see if my hands want to play. Oh, that's nice, Jenny. I'm glad you are enjoying as much as possible your that I hate either. I don't know, I'm looking. See, I still want it to be pretty. So you girls suggesting all those nice purples and blues. Pacific Point isn't a colour that I use all the time, Barbara. So that's a good suggestion. Okay, so now... A thick Whisper White cardstock because I would like to, as much as possible, keep these possibly one layer. Ah, uh, see, Margaret, my... Oh, broadcast interrupted. Is it? Oh, I'm back now. Okay. May have been a text message. Hang on. Let me see. Did someone text me? No, it wasn't. No idea. No idea. So, I have this. Now, what I am thinking is like stamping it twice. Like stamping it off here. And then stamping it off at the bottom. I just want to see how this will go kind of thing. So that goes to about there. And then if I flip it over, they will overlap. So what I might do is stamp in one orientation and then reposition it to do in another because I think having it all the way across the card will look really nice okay secured my card down it was me okay if that happens again I will change to mobile internet because of course I've got everyone home I don't think no David's out in the garden in the wet. I don't quite know what he's doing, but I can see him outside my window, way up the back of the house. So I'm using the Stamparatus just so I can get a really nice crisp image and reproduce that crisp image on all the cards. That's pretty good. You can see how nice black and crisp that is and I'm just going to add a simple sentiment now having this stamp set just under the Stamparatus helps me um, ink it up it keeps it nice and flat and it helps a lot hope all you guys change to the iPad Mm -mm. I'm ignoring my washing machine. That sounds as though it's about to go off balance. I put a rather large load of clothes on. I'm ignoring it. And hopefully it didn't go off. Oops. Now I am making sure I'm getting all these interior bits. Just giving a nice rub. It looks like I'm putting a lot of pressure on, but I'm not. It's just my hands aren't that strong. So, beautiful. Now, these flowers do actually look like they're upside down, but I'm not particularly worried, really, in the whole scheme of things. Because it's just a floral pattern. Okay, great. Thank you, Janice. I am going... We're going to go off screen for about 10, 15 seconds while I change my internet source. So just hold, don't go away, and I will be back. Okay, hopefully that is better. So just tell me, am I as clear as what I was before? Hello, Mr. Linda. Thank you for joining. Hello, Ma hello, Marion. Long time no see. I'm sure you're missing your babies on weekends like this, Marion. 
I know you spend so much time with your beautiful grandchildren. God, your children make beautiful kids. When I see the photos you post, they are just so super adorable. I mean, my granddaughter's beautiful, but I only have one. You have like 20. Hello, Miss Beth. How are all your puzzles going, Beth? Or are you looking for new ones? Because I do have a very simple lion puzzle here that I've been meaning to ask you if you want. Okay, last one. And then I will, I'll clean off the stamp and just reposition it to do that top section. Now I'm just basically rubbing this Memento ink pad onto the stamp. I'm not tapping or anything like that. Okay, how's my connection going now, guys? Now, I could stamp twice to get a super black image, but do you know what? I ain't got time for that today. Hello, Miss Tupper Tanya. How are you today? Tanya, do you realise it's been nearly a year, a year and a day or so since we properly met? Okay. Where is my cleaner? So I'm going to use my stamp chamois. Just to give it a rough clean off so I don't transfer too much ink over in my repositioning. I will give it a proper clean with my stamp and scrub at the end. Actually, that cleaned it up really well. Better now, much better. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Amazing work as always. Okay. So... Now, um, I just want, just checking, I think that's pretty good. I think that will look pretty good in a nice diagonal fashion. And I've turned all my cards around and we will do the second stamping. So a nice, quick, easy way to make four cards. And the fact we're getting precise stamping every time. I hope I inked up enough of this stamp. We will find out. Ah, oh, no, I didn't. Right, I need to ink up a bit more. And it's going to get a second whole stamping in the meantime. Okay. There we go. All done. So that is that. And I think in this bridging part here is where I will put the sentiment. I mean, it looks great as is, but I just think that's a nice place for the sentiment. I've smudged this card already. Lucky it's handmade and not hallmark. Hey. So have any of you thought of using this stamp set like this? Because I would love to hear if you're like full on colouring this stamp set or you're keeping it simple like I'm trying to today. I'm resisting every urge to go in and colour this because that's really what I want to do. Like really want to. That's better. You haven't got it. Lots of label reading for you now. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, that's lovely. That's beautiful, Jenny. I love it when people are just considerate like that and willing to work with you. And isn't it you can't have kiwi fruit now? Because kiwi fruit is like a nat has like a natural derivative of latex or something like that. I may be talking out of my behind there, but yeah. Okay. 
just trying to get a good impression on the spine of that that looks great Ah, I'm giving you ideas. Well, I have posted a number of cards using this. I think I've only got one more card up my sleeve that I've sent out to my customers, but I want to hear probably mid-next week I'll share it. I want to hear more of my customers have got the card in the mail uh, before I post it online because I want them to enjoy it in their hands first although apparently we're meant to get mail tomorrow so what's Hoya? what's Hoya? I've never heard of a Hoya ah oh, that's lovely Laurie I know I just want to I just want to do all the colouring with it Everything in my being is there going, just colour it, Ellen. Okay. Oh, that's the dry side. Or the dry-ish side. There you go. Just giving it a rough wipe off because there's nothing worse than getting um, memento blacking everywhere. And I'm going to be smart and very sparingly use some of my hand sanitizer to remove any of this uh, this stamp is actually early release so this is a release to customers for this month from the upcoming 2020 to 2021 annual catalog so this is all brand spanking new and just let me go through and show you here so we've got the thank you stamp set which I've been using it pretty heavily I haven't used the ornate border die set that's sort of my next thing that I want to use is the border die set and they can go together as a bundle and then we've got the ornate style stamp set with the frames uh, the ornate layers dies so I have been using a lot of the layers they are stunning and then we've got the embossing folder the gilded gems oh my giddy aren't they are stunning and we have the ribbon combo pack I have used almost all I had to order a new ribbon combo pack and I've ordered more of the Gilded Gems because I'm using the Gilded Gems like they're going our style. And with my customer cards, I used almost both rolls of ribbon in the combo pack. Okay, so let's play with some sentiments. I'll just pop my Stamparatus up there off to the side. Bring in my full card fronts. So, we've been friends for so long, I can't remember which one of us is a bad influence. Um, Mrs. Newman, I do believe you're the bad influence. I'll wait for the comeback for that. No one is, will ever be as entertained by us as us, that's so true. Talking to you is sometimes all the therapy I need. I'm thinking that's a good one at the moment. I really, we really do have the perfect friendship. I often think how amazing you are. Talking to you is sometimes all the therapy I need and then the inside would be our talks are priceless. That's sort of a good one at the moment. Ellen, did you see what happened? No, I didn't see what happened to you at home. So give me a quick type up. Uh -huh. I knew I'd get a bite back, Leonie. <laughs> You're hilarious, Leonie. We really are good friends. We read each other's minds so, so, so well. So see what I mean? That this sort of goes across here perfectly. Perfectly, perfectly. So you still, you can't see the break in the card then. Oh, please excuse my froggy throat. 
too much talking, maybe a touch of chocolate. It's Easter, right? I'm allowed chocolate already. Hey, Carol, thanks for joining. Um, so, colours. I know, I love it. I had to... This will be... Now, I don't keep many stamp sets, but this will be a stamp set if it doesn't carry over into the main catalogue. This will be one that I keep. Um, I use... <laughs> I'm thinking a really nice girly colour that I don't use often. How about that? And that's really hard because I use all my girly colours all the time. Okay. Thinking Calypso Coral because I don't use it that much. Or we can bid adieu to Grapefruit Grove, which is leaving soon. Um, oh, I know one I haven't used in ages and ages. I haven't used Rococo Rose. I'm going to take out Calypso Coral. So I've got two options there. Grapefruit Grove or Rococo Rose. I also haven't used Millamambo in a while, although I'm about to. Sneak peek, it's one of the colours in something that's coming up next month. Um, I also don't often use Bermuda Bay. They're the four colours I want you to vote on. So, you'll have to be quick because you guys are on delay. I will grab down those four colours ready. And see what you all say. Just waiting, Rococo Rose. Okay, we have ones. How is our chemist actually open today, Jenny? I didn't think many businesses open today. Oh, grapefruit, I can grab that one down. And I've got Melon Mambo, which is. Hmm, where is my Melon Mambo? Melon Mambo? No, that's Flutty Flamingo. Okay, Melon Mambo. So, I have all four colours. Look, this is a great colour combination. Okay, Rococo or Bermuda? Rococo, Bermuda. Okay, so these two are in the race. Look, I could do two of each, which would be nice and easy. I could do two Rococo, two Bermuda. How about we do that? Because what I'm thinking, and then I can still add a metallic Rococo. Okay, cool. I like sometimes just to challenge myself like I have now and grab out some colours I haven't used for a while. So I'm going to put away my Miller Mambo and my Grapefruit Grove, which is fine. Okay, so what I think I want to do, I definitely want to use my Stamparatus. Let's be honest here, I'd be a mug if I didn't use my Stamparatus. I just need to work out kind of what width I need to go. My handy dandy Stampin' Up! ruler that is eons old. And thinking if I go two centimetres, stamp it in black... We're pretty good. Just put that there so I don't lose it. Um, so, one, I want to cut it at two centimeters, and then I want to cut it just slightly narrower than the width of the card. 
That was a bust. Helps if you actually put some pressure on that piece of cardstock. I'm hoping that cut straight because that moved like nothing else. Okay, so that's the two centimeters. I want to then trim it uh, probably half a centimeter smaller. So that's one. Then I want to. Oh, I've cut it way too wrong. Probably. There. Actually, I'll cut it wider and then if I want to do anything like flag or angle the ends, I can. That would be playing smart, not hard. Okay, so I love the trimmer because we've got these bump ups on the end, cutting these narrower pieces, the cardstock just sits there and it doesn't angle to one side which we used to with the other trimmer so I was able to cut that piece off fairly nicely so let me go ten and a half great I do have two strips to put back in so just a small pop of colour here and I've got a piece here. What is this width? This is already 10 centimeters. So I'll just cut two, or I'll leave them extra long. I think I like leaving them long. There's one, and there's two. Hello Alison, hello Samantha, hello Miss Jamie. I will catch you up with what I've done so far once I have cut out the paper for my sentiment strips. And do you know what? I'm probably going to stuff up the stamping and need to cut a few more strips. But we're going to be optimistic. So I have used my stamp artist and stamped the ornate style stamp set twice just on a card base so I've done four I have got the thanks for the laughs stamp set and grabbed out talking to you is sometimes all the therapy I need which I'm assuming someone on here and I need to have a chat this afternoon hello miss Wendy hello miss Deb yeah, absolutely. I know how awesome that you're catching me live, Wendy. That makes me so happy. Okay, so here's where we hope and pray that Ellen gets it straight. So I am, I'm going to be attaching the stamp. I don't like putting sentiments like this up near the spine. What I will prefer is to put the sentiments on the edge of the flap. It's just a touch more flexible and I find I get a better stamped result. Now please excuse my head and wet hair for a second here because I'm trying. Okay. I'm going to stamp this literally just on this backing paper to make sure I have it straight. So I do want to just use my black memento ink again. I choose memento because I find it's blacker than stays on. And then if I change my mind and I want to colour them in or the person I give the card to wants to colour it in. Oh my god. That is like millimetres off. Have a look at that. I need to lift this up to show you. My straightness issues are pretty good today. Oh, yay, Shannon. Okay. So, off work as in don't have a job at the moment. Stood down. 
because I know I've taken a reduction in hours. So I'm working two less hours a week. Yes, me too, Wendy. I do only use my stays on when I want a watercolour and I use my memento for everything else because memento is actually meant for when we use our blends and it doesn't, so our blends alcohol markers, it doesn't um, bleed. Now, with sentiments, I do like to stamp them twice to make them look as black as we can perfect that is sentiment one done so you can see how that sort of pops off there and I would I do believe now are we going silver or are we going gold as my accent color or I can do both oh uh, is my that magnet is a little close but it's actually in the perfect place so stamp it twice okay so that's the Bermuda oops that was the wrong way around. Now, because I've stamped on here and I'm using this shorter piece, I can just snag the corner of that and not have it butted up against the edge. So, by sometimes by stamping the image on my backing paper, I can then just position a smaller piece near it rather or over it rather than using a longer piece and butting it up so these all may be slightly different but the sentiments will be there so that's my third one and my fourth one because I don't actually I do have a silver sharpie it's just one from Aldi and oh my god they're amazing they were like two bucks for two even Lachlan at he wanted something silver or gold it's like I can help you with that and he went oh my god mum these are amazing markers but what I was thinking was like silver or gold glimmer paper is actually where my brain was going just to give a little bling and then or I've got silver and gold no, I've got, yes, I do have silver and gold pearls as well that I can scatter. So that is done. I cannot believe I got that stamping perfect. I think I unjinxed myself. Okay, so those stamps are clean enough awesome use of my stamparatus today yes that's what i was thinking foil cardstock and then i can use my mini metallic pearls i like your thinking jamie we are on the same wavelength today totally so simple simple stamping now if i had a thought about this these would have taken no time at all it's like design one and then mass produce i've sort of done it the other way around today okay now i do actually just like that all the way across and then I can put some pearls there. Do you know what? I'm not even going to use some foil. I'm just going to use the pearls. What do you think? Because I can stick this down where I want it. And then trim it. From there. I think I'm just going to use the pearls. Now, these are the pearls. I've just put them in a Ziploc bag 
and they are our mini metallic pearls. So I'm going to use the gold on the Rococo because that's a bit warmer and then a warmer colour and then I'll use the silver on the Bermuda. Keep it simple, Ellen. Keep it simple. Okay, blue. Glue, glue, glue. And just go straight across where I'm going to put it. Yes, I could. I could, but let's just keep these simple because this was my um, idea, Jamie, for people to mass produce this kind of card and send it out to many friends in the mail. Just get it made, get it done. I am trying to nurse this glue. I know there is a goober stuck in there. I did get new glue. Maybe I really am at the end. Oh, no, I'm not. There are no words, girls. There are absolutely no words. None. I knew that was going to happen. A mass-produced card, yes. Yeah, oh, look, they are beautiful to colour, Janie. Absolutely beautiful. Um, but you want to have the time to have to colour them. So this is going to be the card that I use to glue everything else down. And everyone may comment on my huge glue goober. Oh, I could, but there's that much glue. I can use it on every single piece, Jamie. Like, seriously. Every single piece I can use it on. And I reckon I'll still have enough glue. It's okay. It's handmade. I'm missing a card base. How am I missing a card base? One. Ah, there's two under there. Found it. Don't worry. Stop looking. Oops. Sorry for bumping you girls there. I do like grabbing out. If you don't have a T-square ruler in your stash, highly, highly recommend one because I can get that perfectly straight. When I don't have many other straight lines to go off, I can get... That sentiment perfectly straight. Okay, one and two and uh, three. Nah, I don't think that's enough. Actually, it will be if I stick it to this card. So you can see perfectly mass produced pop of colour. Just slide my T square ruler in here. And that is nice and straight. I don't know who's possessed me and is actually not having issues with straightness. Don't know what's going on today, girls. If you find out, please tell me. I know, I know. It is a good job in front of the telly, absolutely. This is, um, especially with the Stamparatus, you've just got it there ready, ready to go. And you could just do this on a little tray and um, get these, get these going. Okay, done. Okay, doesn't matter if I've got more space off to one side on these sentiments because that's where our pearls are going to come in. I know, I know, I know. Straight set, stamping, perfect sentiments. I know. The Easter Bunny must have helped me. 
it's all the Easter Bunny okay so then I'm just going in and trimming off the sides and I just think now look they look beautiful like this but I do just need an embellishment my brain can't help it I just need an embellishment okay two now I could have made a slew of these now and because I have left those um those stamps in the stamparatus i may go back and mass produce some more you never know because it's all there ready to rock and roll so there are our four where is my little dish to put my rubbish in best best gift i ever got that dish i use it every single day okay now i'm going to get my take my take your pick tool and this is the one with the paper piercer on the end just grab these out i found i put these uh, metallic pearls in the ziploc bag because i found these are tiny like these is a tiny tiny packet and i found it difficult for my hands to open and close so i just grabbed a ziploc bag um, and it's worked perfectly. I have a few. Hello, Miss Donna Todd. Uh, but I stay at home all the time. I, I rarely go out at the best of times. Sorry, I'm just going back. In that case, a dollar point work. Uh, right. It look, Jamie, this you can water messy watercolour these flowers and they will turn up beautifully. Yes, Cindy, I'm glad someone else loves mass producing cards as well because while you've got the products out, you might as well make a few rather than um, just changing over. I have, and this will go up. Um, this will go up when on the 25th I've mass produced 15 cards for my Christmas Stampathon example for our April challenge. Do you know what? I'm thinking that's all that needs is on there. I don't think I need these anywhere else. Tell me if you think I need to put pearls throughout the flowers because I think just on that sentiment strip is perfect and three because we need odd numbers okay that's that one looks great awesome uh, no, it's not the caramel chocolate. Not at all. I may have got some caramel eggs delivered yesterday from Ald uh, from Woolworths. And I'm not making an ad for Woolworths. It's literally, I went, I am getting, and I got all my chocolate delivered. So the Easter Bunny will make some deliveries on Sunday. And my local chemist, because I need to get some stuff for my nails now that I've got to look after my own nails for the foreseeable future. So I'm going to go to the chemist on Saturday and buy my mum's favourite lollies and one of my dad's favourite lollies because they always have them and they're always soft and not chewy spearmints and jersey caramels my dad's favorite is actually um milk bottles but they don't do milk bottles so i thought i'd kill two birds with one stone and not get in trouble for leaving the house if a police person pulls me over maybe do some marker flicks you just feel it needs something. Okay, well, let me grab out 
That's okay. I like your marker flicks. Let me grab out my markers. So these are my full box of markers. And some in colour markers in here as well. One set of the in colour markers. So we've got Bermuda Bay. And we've got Rococo Rose. And I will show you what Jamie means by marker flicks. And they're colour coded on the back. And then you've got room, not for all the in colours. I only keep one set of in colours in here. The other ones I keep very close at hand, just in the packet that they come in. So they are always, always on hand. Okay, get my scrap piece of paper here so I don't make too much of a mess. Ha ha, she says. Okay, so... What Jamie means, our Stamp and Write markers have a bullet end which you can write with. Lovely, write beautifully. I know, and these Jersey Caramels are so soft, they're not hard at all. Oh my god, they're amazing. Okay, and so what she means with the brush end which, once again, I can write with. You can also colour with. So you can get quite a nice thick line with that. So what she means is using the edge of... Meh. Mm. Do you know what I might be better to do, Jamie? Is... Scribble some onto my block, but that's what she meant. Scribble some onto my block and grab my aqua painter. Oh, can I grab an aqua painter? And does it have oh, it's got a little bit in it? That might be all I need. So I'm just going to drop a drop of this in here and I'm going to that's not enough either right reading because it is oh my dear word I know what you mean Jamie but it's a bit fine for my liking that splatter I actually want more splatter than that I know oh ink pad Oh, you're full of ideas. Full of ideas because I have the ink pads right here. Amaze balls, Jay. Amaze balls. Okay, so I'm going to ink my block into the ink pad. Put the ink pad somewhere where I won't transfer it. Make this nice end. <gasps> that was way too much water probably no that's actually really nice and good and just flick it off yeah you were exactly right Jamie and I will show you how I have got the color although I don't know why I'm cleaning this off when I need to do it with the next card as well so this is a bit finer but you will see how I've got the color so you more water you get larger splatters and less water you get finer splatters so I will clean that off and use my Rococo Rose, oh, I thought someone had taken my paper towels. Okay. Get my water sprayer here just to clean off my block so not to 
contaminate my cards just clean off this brush end till it runs clear geez I put a lot of ink on that still running I will lose all the water in this barrel but that's okay so yeah we're running clear now these are a bit stained but that's okay right much better exactly yes both splatters are good carol it's just showing you the difference in the amount of water you use now i've got to remember i've got two cards this time and what no one saw that did they because i haven't got any water left in my barrel just use my use the water here that's one card done and I kind of need hang on need more ink I think mm. put something down and do it properly more ink more water more splatters. Oops. Yeah. I will get that extra bit up. So, paper towel, too much water. Just pop your paper towel down. And just want to do more fine splatters. I am fine with that being there, that bigger splatter. It just is how it is and just clean off this brush and the block close my ink pads which I should have done as I went so that block is now clean again ready to use if I wanted to I could run it in my stamp chamois as well but because I've got the paper towel here that is all good to go a double check on here that's also clean I will fill that up at my kitchen sink it will dry back it'll just have that darker spots there which I'm more than happy for those to hang there to tell you the truth. So you can get the super fine splatters with your stamp and write markers, but I'm very glad I did use my aqua painter. So how long have we been going? We have been going an hour, but I did fluff around for a bit. So you can see if you had my mat is wet and dirty but you can see if we actually um if we'd actually used um actually had this all planned out ready to go everything cut how easily you could uh, mass produce these so i suppose you've seen the start of the mass producing of these so that is our Rococo Rose card this is our Bermuda Bay card and I've just added in the pearls which are perfect the pearls and the splatter still a very very simple card reproducible and just a little bit of splatter and a few um a few embellishments of the same kind except i've pulled one off i'll put it back on the sheet how dare you how rude of that um and using my take your pick tool thank you thank you guys for hanging with me i'm actually really glad i made these cards 
I, I think I'm going to sit here this afternoon and make some more because I'm looking forward to my son's you, my, you, you girls know my son plays the trombone and one of the bands he's playing with he's missing seeing his normal people terribly it's not just school friends he's missing the adults he sees at band and the adults he sees at karate and they're doing a trivia night tonight via zoom so I'm actually really looking forward to sitting here and doing a trivia night with Lachlan tonight which will be fantastic thank you so much for joining me guys I truly appreciate you hanging out with me and I am going to take Saturday and Sunday off doing videos, not that I normally do a video anyway, but I'm going to be back on Monday. So if you have any suggestions, I have got nothing planned, but if you have any suggestions of a technique or a stamp set that you know I've got, or I can always substitute a stamp set, um, tell me what you might like me to play with. And yeah, it is going to be fun, Wendy. Yes, happy Easter to all of you. I hope you can create some new traditions this Easter or at least enjoy being isolated with the people that you are. Yes, me too, Jennifer. Yes, working from home totally has its advantages. Totally, totally. So if, they, if you need someone to talk to, please know I'm here as well. But I'd love some suggestions um, of things you guys might want to see on Monday. So just drop me a message. Yes, it is Good Friday here. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. Yes, I will, Cindy, and I will enjoy my roast lamb when my mum delivers it, and she will enjoy her crispy roast vegetables when I swap them over with her. So I hope you all have an amazing weekend, and I will see you on Easter Monday, which is actually public holiday here in Australia. So we get to enjoy a four-day long weekend, and then... I've only got one working day next week, which makes it nice and simple as well. So have an amazing one and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye.